Okay, we're going to continue our study uh, of the rapture revealed in the Old Testament or the Tanakh. And in our previous video, we read from Isaiah 57 verse 1. You can go back and if you haven't heard that teaching on that, uh, it talks about the, the righteous vanish. And uh, we surely are going to vanish at the rapture. And, uh, and then in Isaiah chapter 26, we have the prophet Isaiah, or his real name in Hebrew is Yasha Yahu. And uh, he writes in starting at verse 19, I'll read what it says out of the English translation. It says, your dead men shall live together with my dead body, shall they arise. Of course, this is talking about a resurrection here. Notice that this is a description of the resur of the, a resurrection. And it says, um, Awake and sing, ye that dwell in dust. For the dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. <laughs> the earth is going to cast out the dead. Sounds like a resurrection, doesn't it? And then he says, Come, my people, enter into your chambers, and shut your, do shut your doors about you. Hide yourself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, Yahuwah cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth all shall disclose, shall disclose her, her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Now, uh, notice that there, there is a resurrection involved here and that the, at the same time, there's going to be the uh, revealing of Yahuwah's anger or wrath. And he's doing it to punish the inhabitants of the earth. And the reason being, these are, the, these, these are people that have not, that have rejected the Messiah, that have not believed on the one that the Father has sent. And he calls, he, 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 in verse 20, he says, come my people. And he tells us to enter into your chambers. And to shut the doors behind us. And he says, until the, as it were, but for a moment. There's a time frame involved in here. And we know that from our study of these end times events, that the space of time of the of Daniel's 70th week, or also referred to as the tribulation, but to be accurate, it's really the, the, seven, the seven weeks of Daniel still yet to be fulfilled out of the 70 weeks that was prophesied about the nation of Yasharel, there's still seven years left. But it's also the time frame of Jacob's trouble or Israel's trouble. And it's also, uh, we know that it's, like I said, seven years in length. So there's a time frame. He said that, they, that we would be hidden for a little while. This is, again, a reference to the, that this is not going to go on continually, but it's, there's a time frame involved, involved in it. And he says, until the indignation be overpassed. Now, the word indignation in Hebrew, the original word, is Zion. And that's Hebrew number 2195. And the, defi the meaning of this word, of course, is indignation, but it's also rage and anger. And we know that this is a time frame of this particular day of the Lord or the day of Yahuwah that's revealed in scripture. Now, I want to read, of course, in, in Joel chapter 2, verses 30 and 31, it says, The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome, in one translation, it says, the terrible day of Yahuwah. Because it is for those that don't know and that are not born again, that have not been saved, it will be a terrible and awesome day for them to have to, to, to face. But we which are born again, we have his righteousness. We know that from our last uh, teaching that I shared with you about the righteous vanish. We, we who are born again by the set apart spirit in the sight of our father, Yahuwah, we are already created in righteousness and true holiness. Uh, Apostle Paul said, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, Verse 17, therefore, if any man be in Mashiach, in Messiah, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things have become new. 
It says in verse 21 of that same chapter, it says, For him who knew no sin became sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of him, of Yahuwah. We have been made righteous by the sacrifice of the, of the Mashiach, the Messiah, and by putting our faith and trust in his completed work, we're not, we're not relying on our own works or our own righteousness, but we, we realize that it's by faith in him and his completed work that makes us righteous before our Heavenly Father. And so this day is not reserved for us. This day is a day of wrath, a day of anger. Um, it says also in the, uh, about Jacob's trouble, this same time frame in, in Jacob's trouble, uh, Ch Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. It says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be, but he shall be saved out of it. And we know from our study that two-thirds of the nation of Israel, Yashorel, will perish during that time frame, but one-third of it shall be saved out of it. And they'll believe on the one the Father has sent is how they'll be saved out of it. <clears throat> now, um, also, if you read in, um, yeah, Daniel chapter 12, verse 2 says, And many that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to everlasting contempt or shame. Uh, also, when you're reading, uh, there's another verse I want to read out of this to tie this in together. It says, Isaiah 13, 9 says, Behold, the day of Yahuwah, or the day of the Lord, the day of Yahuwah, is what it actually says in the Hebrew, cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate and to destroy the sinners thereof out of it. See, this, this, this what we're talking about here is this time frame is, co is coming upon the earth very soon. And before it actually takes place, we that have been made righteous are going to be carried out. According to verse, actually from this verse here in, in verse 20, says, come my people. And it says, you know, before, it says, hide yourself as it was a little moment until the indignation or the anger be overpassed. So he's calling us as the believer, or true believers, out of this earth before this anger is released upon the earth. And we, we will experience our resurrected bodies at that time. This, uh, again, go back and read in uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 through 18, where the Apostle Paul mentioned that. that, uh, that and also in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 51. Also in John Gospel chapter 14, verses 1, down through verse 4, Yahushua said that he was preparing a place for us, that and he would come again and receive us or take us unto himself. And that's what the, the purpose of the rapture is, is to take us unto himself before this anger and this indignation is released upon the earth. I hope this has helped you. We'll pick this up on our next teaching. We've got to go more in detail about these verses. And so uh, please, again, thank you for all your uh continued uh, support. Please share these videos with others. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, my channel yet, please do so. And uh, I love you. Yahuwah, our creator, loves you. And until next time, Shalom.